understanding one of the most basic forces of the universe and one of the least understood, magnetism. Magnetism is key to understanding a lot of physics because it affects a lot of things. It affects how stars condense. It affects how galaxies form. It affects how black holes collapse. Magnetism is everywhere and in nearly everything. It is one of the four fundamental forces of physics, the forces that keep the universe itself together. Physicists have identified four fundamental forces at play in nature. There's a strong nuclear force that holds atoms together, the weak nuclear force that also has to do with holding together particles and atoms, and gravity, with which we're all familiar, and then electromagnetism is the fourth. Electricity and magnetism are really one and the same thing. For something so fundamental, magnetism often gets overlooked. Besides holding notes on your refrigerator, magnets rarely show up in an average person's daily life. Magnetism is not something that we normally deal with. You can't feel a magnetic field. You can run a, a magnet over yourself and you don't feel a thing. So it isn't part of our daily experience. The key component of magnetism is that it attracts and repels. I'm holding here two magnets to illustrate how magnetic fields work and frankly how strong they are. Right now the they're attracting one another and I have to really pull to pull them apart but they also can repel each other and I can illustrate it by putting it on this post if I put the first one down and drop the second one really can't push it down it just bounces in fact the only thing that keeps people from walking through walls or falling through the floor is magnetism molecules and atoms are extremely small and the space between atoms is extremely large. At an atomic level, almost everything is made of empty space. The distance between the electrons that are orbiting around the protons in the nucleus is fairly immense. It's like this fan. If you let the electrons be the blade and the center be the nucleus, if there's no motion taking place there, you would pass right through things. It's not solid. So why is it solid? It's because the electromagnetic attraction between the negatively charged electron and the positively charged proton, it captures it and it spins around. So if it's spinning really fast, like the fan blades of this fan, representing the electrons around the atom, it bounces right off. That's why you don't fall through the floor and why you can't walk through walls. It's not the atoms themselves, but the magnetic field that makes matter solid, that keeps a person from walking through walls magnetic force attracts and repels along field lines. You can take a bar magnet and lay a piece of paper over it and cover that piece of paper with iron filings. And the iron filings will actually line themselves up along the field lines coming out of the magnet. And that's a good way to see what the magnetic field actually looks like. One way to think of field lines is like lanes on a freeway. The southbound traffic never interacts with the northbound traffic. Electromagnetic field lines are like lanes on a freeway. Cars go down the lanes, down the freeway. And that's why if you look on the surface of the sun, you see these beautiful arcs that represent the field lines where the plasma can flow. But on the surface of the sun, these field lines are intensely powerful and deadly. In this freeway analogy, imagine if a middle lane was opened up on the freeway between the speeding north and south traffic. There's no instruction as to who's supposed to go on that lane. You'll get a big mashup right there where the cars, everyone's trying to go on that lane. Uh, chaos ensues and there's a big release of energy. Now imagine if this freeway was on the sun and the cars were 20,000 miles long. The enormous crash fires material off the sun and straight toward our planet. That is a coronal mass ejection. A CME is gigantic, over 10 billion tons of solar plasma. It's the equivalent of 100,000 aircraft carriers traveling at several million miles per hour toward Earth. 
This is the threat to our planet. A direct hit from a CME is a rare occurrence, but it would be catastrophic for our civilization.